Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Shanice and I'm a second grade teacher in Virginia. This is my first video for YouTube for my new teacher vlog. So please subscribe if you would like to follow my journey um, for my teaching this school year. I realized after I created this video that I forgot to first introduce myself and second tell you what this video is going to be about. So I figured I'd insert this picture here and start talking. So this video is just going to be me shopping for my classroom, showing you how I find things for a bargain so that I stay within budget and I don't overspend for things in my classroom. I hope you enjoy my video. Like I said, this is my first one, so the best is yet to come. Hey y'all, so I definitely did not realize it was this late in the day. I had such an early morning. I had to take my mom to the airport at 3 a.m. And yeah, I came back, ate breakfast, went back to sleep because I just couldn't. I, um, fun fact, my brother is on the Olympic boxing team. So he is competing in Lima, Peru at the Pan American Games for those of you that follow the Olympics. So I had to take my mom to the airport because she's of course meeting him in Peru. Um, I wanted to go, but I couldn't because I'm working summer school this summer because if he does go to the Olympics, I want to go to Tokyo next year to be able to support him there. So I'm going to save up some money and work summer school so I couldn't go. So I am getting a late start. It's almost like five o'clock and I'm just now like getting dressed and really getting out of the house. But it's okay. It's summertime. It's whatever. So I got to go to a couple of stores. I need to go to Office Max. If you haven't checked out their back to school sale, do that. Um, I also need to go to Big Lots. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything from Big Lots. I know exactly what I want from Big Lots, but I'm not sure I want to spend the money on it just yet. And I also need to go to Michael's probably and for sure Dollar Tree. Um, I might do a haul video later on to show everybody what I got. Okay, so I am trying to find containers to put in the middle of my tables because I'm not going to use caddies. I'm going to let them put their pencil pouches in their buckets as opposed to using caddies this year but i don't know if these will be too big all right i think i like this shape better it's a square um i need to be able to fit up to six pencil pouches in these per table hopefully no one shows up with a pencil box I'm hoping this is big enough. We'll see. But I really hope it's big enough. Okay, so I told myself when I left my house earlier that I was not going to Lakeshore. Shanice, you're not going to Lakeshore today. There's nothing that you need at Lakeshore. Guys, guess where I am? I don't know if you can see that, but I'm at Lakeshore. what I'm here for paper I usually go to Michael's for my paper because I get it 50% off when they have the coupon however Michael's does not have the type of green that I want and I've been going every day for like three weeks looking for it I want like a limey green so Michael's has this green which is too dark I want something like this Sorry, some friendly lecture person asked me if I was okay and if I needed anything. So I had to pause so I didn't I didn't want to be rude and look like I'm on the phone while he was trying to help me. I don't know if I like this green. It's a little too yellow. It doesn't look yellow in the video, but it's definitely a little on the yellow side. I might have to settle for this. What is that, Chevron? Wait a minute. Here it is, this is exactly the green I want. Better than paper. I don't know what that is. Any of you watching, can you comment below and tell me if you've used better than paper before and if you like it. I don't need this much though. I only need a tiny bit. All right, I just got one thing, guys. 
have made it out with just one thing from Lakeshore. So that was a success and I only spent six bucks. So I just left Office Max. I didn't record what I bought, but I didn't get anything exciting. Just four more composition books and um, a pack of Expo markers. But this is my trunk. Please tell me I'm not the only teacher whose trunk looks like this. These are things I've been collecting over the summer, and it goes back pretty deep. Over the summer, all summer, I hope you can hear me. I'm right next to a main road, and the cars are kind of loud. Um, but these are things I've been collecting all summer, and I'll talk to you about why I purchased some of these things a little bit later. As you can see, I had to get actual school supplies, and I'll talk about why later on but guys omg this trunk and i've just been leaving it here because i don't want to bring it in my house Okay, so I'm back home so I'm recording from my phone and the thing with iPhone is you can't like turn the camera while you're recording so I'll record me talking and then I'll stop and then re-record me um, showing you the things I actually bought um, I did not get all of these things today but I did get some if not most of it um, either today or yesterday or the day before um, also I am holding the camera in my hand so like I said I'm new to this so um, that's what we have for now. Um, as I mentioned before, I had to actually buy school supplies. Now, I don't usually have to do that. Um, I work at, I'm blessed enough to work at a school that normally provides everything. Scissors, glue, paper, pencils, markers, pencil sharpeners, notebooks, folders, every school supply. In the event that a student doesn't bring any or doesn't bring some things, the school literally has had it all. Crayons, markers, everything. Construction paper, literally any school, actual school supply that you can think of. So anything I've ever spent my money on was extra, like decorations or organizational things for me, things that I wanted just to make my life easier. But in all actuality, I probably never would have had to spend a dime if I wasn't just so particular about certain things that I like or that I want. Um, this year, it's looking like that may not be the case, or if it is the case, it's going to be like later into the school year, maybe end of September, October, which is okay. Like, I'm not going to complain about it because I've never had to do it before, and I love my school, and I know there's a good reason for it. And there's a possibility I can get reimbursed. So, and I don't have children of my own or anything. Like, I don't have any crazy expenses. It's just me. So... To have to actually buy school supplies wasn't a big deal. So anyway, cut to the chase. What I actually got from Office Max this week was um, black plastic, like the poly plastic folders that I didn't take out the car because we know what those things are. Um, for their homework folders, I went and got a pack of crayons for each student, colored pencils and markers, enough for two per table, two packs per table. I got glue. And I'll show you that in a second. And I got scissors, um, dry erase markers. Um, I did not get pencils. I ordered pencils off of Amazon, which I'm going to show you. Um, oh, and composition books. I got composition books. So um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you exactly what I got and talk to you about how I bought it and how I got it for a bargain. Okay, I'm back. So this was what I've walked out of Lakeshore with. I'm super proud of myself. I got this Fateless paper from Lakeshore. Um, it was originally like $6.49. It was on sale for, I'm sorry, it was originally $7.44. It was on sale for $6.49. And then I got an additional 20% off. So I believe I paid like $5.80, $5.90 with taxes. Fateless green paper. I know I originally did not want this color green because I was saying it was too yellow. But then when I put it up against some blue bulletin, or not bulletin, blue border, uh, it looked really, really pretty. Um, I did not buy border because I don't remember what I already have in my classroom. So I'm just going to wait because those things at Lakeshore will be on sale all summer long. So it's not a huge deal. And I'm pretty sure I have blue border. So I want to get into the um, next purchase. I bought these at the end of the school year. So these pencils, they're 96. Um, there are one, two, three, four, eight packs of 12 of the Ticonderoga pencils. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but whatever. They were $7.80 or so on Amazon at the end of the school year. 
such a steal. I probably should have gotten two of these cases, but I also have a whole bunch of pencils left over from last year. Um, and I know we have so many pencils at our school, this brand and the Dixon brand too. So I just went ahead and got one um, and saved my money because I didn't necessarily need two. I bought these from Amazon. I got two packs of Mr. Sketch markers. These were $5 a pack. Normally, these are in the store. They could be like seven or so dollars a pack. I need these. I use these a lot. What I do in my classroom is the, I use Class Dojo, and the team that has the most team points at the end of the week gets a VIP table caddy. And it has smelly markers, fancy um, scissors, um, a lot of colored pencils, not just the original 12 pack, but I'll get like the 24 pack of colored pencils with all the different colors in it, smelly crayons, just fun supplies that they can use throughout the week for being the VIP table and having the most team points for things like teamwork and um, helping one another and being on task, things like that. So I need these for that. I usually, um, one pack will usually last me a quarter. They're pretty good about taking care of these markers because they know once they're out, they're out and they won't get another one until, um, the end of the second quarter. So they last the semester, I should say. My next purchase I made was from Office Max. Now, all the supplies I mentioned before I got from Office Max, but then I wanted to specifically point out these things. First of all, flare pins, right? Every teacher's favorite. If you are a teacher, you love flare pins. I got this pack of 12 for $10 at Office Max. And I'm so glad I did it because when I went back to Office Max today, there were no more left. I also found out you can get single colors off of Amazon. Like I can get a pack of just blue off of Amazon, a 12 pack, but they're not on sale. So I didn't get it, of course. I also got these glue sticks. Now I know they're not the Elmer's brand. However, when you look at the Elmer's brand and you compare them to this Scholastic brand, the glue sticks in the Scholastic brand are bigger than the glue sticks in the Elmer's brand. And at Office Max, the Scholastic brand was six for two dollars. Um, what did I say? The Elmer's brand was six for two dollars. I don't remember what I said. And the Scholastic brand, these packs were also two dollars, but then there were three bonus. So I was getting nine for the same price, and these glue sticks are much bigger. Um, I haven't, I've never had any problems with these glue sticks. Like these are fine for me. The only time I've had a problem with glue is that purple glue. I cannot stand purple glue. It gets all over the place. It smears, it's chunky, like I just don't like it. And then I got these for my students' tables, um, just pencil sharpeners, because they're gonna have colored pencils and I don't want them asking me to sharp their, sharpen their colored pencil every five minutes. So each team will have about two of these and these were 50 cents, so that was great. Also at the back to school sale at Amazon. So for Michaels, I got, ooh, the sun is bright. Let's move this way. For Michaels, I got lap desks. Um, I don't know if I've already mentioned, but my classroom colors are blue and green. So that's the color of lap desk I chose to get. These lap desks are originally $7.49. And what I do is I wait for Michaels to have their 50% off of any one item coupon. And then I go buy one at a time. And so I get them for like three fifty dollars or so, whatever the tax is after that. Um, so that way I'm not spending a whole bunch of money. So I got six of these, which could have easily been about $40 something dollars, if not more had I not bought them on sale. Instead, I got them for about $3.50 a piece, um, which is half the price. I'm gonna use these for flexible seating, and I'm gonna talk about flexible seating in another video. I also got colored cardstock paper for my printing for a project that I'm working on this summer that I'm gonna talk about in a second. These were three for 10. They're originally about $6 a pack, but I got them three for 10. And then Michaels also had a 15% off of your entire purchase, including sale items. So I ended up getting these for about $9 or so after taxes. So that was great. And I saved a whole lot of money that way. And I'll talk about the project I'm doing with these papers um, uh, in a later video. These are things I got from the Dollar Tree. Again, the sun is super bright. So I'm gonna move this way. So I realized earlier that I did not mention why I needed these bins. So in my school, we have tables, not desks. Um, we also do not have chair pockets. So follow me here. That means anytime they need 
a notebook, a folder, anything. They have to get up, go into their cubby and get it. It is a nightmare. What I'm trying to do is Everyone has a pencil pouch. I would normally do community supplies, but that was a nightmare last year. No one could find their pencil. Everyone's going to have a pencil pouch with crayons, markers or colored pencils. I haven't decided. It's probably going to be colored pencils with crayons, colored pencils, three sharpened pencils, scissors, glue. In And all pencil pouches are going to go in this container. I am praying that this container is going to be enough to fit up to six because I will need up to six students at any given table because I could have up to 24 students in my class. So I'm praying that this, this is big enough. I'm also hoping no one shows up with one of those um, pencil boxes. My kids last year had those pencil boxes that came with the lock and key, those little fancy things. Um, I'm hoping no one shows up with that this year, but all the pencil pouches are going to go inside this container so that way it's clean and it's put together and their tables are not constantly full of just random pencils and scissors and glue rolling around or the table caddies are not spilling over. Or what was happening last year was I had the table caddies and then some of them had pencil pouches too. The students who bought school supplies had pencil pouches and the students who didn't, oh, they just used the supplies we provided in the table caddies. But instead... Um, I just want it all uniform. With that being said, I went ahead and bought extra pencil pouches for those that will not bring school supplies that are not able to, because like I said, I teach at a Title I school, so it's very, very likely that I'll have a child that's not able to bring school supplies. So I bought extra pencil pouches. If you have not already noticed, my class colors are green and blue. So I got five green ones from the Dollar Tree and five blue ones from the Dollar Tree. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five green and five blue from the Dollar Tree. Now, since it's the Dollar Tree, it obviously was not on sale. Like, nothing at the Dollar Tree ever goes on sale. However, it's the Dollar Tree, so I can justify that. And I also got these cases. I found out from someone else's um, Instagram page, actually, that, oh, and my co-teacher uses these, that these can fit a 24-pack of crayons perfectly. So the idea that I had behind these was give each child their crayons in one of these cases. Then one of these cases will go inside their pencil pouch. So that way their pencil pouch is not full of miscellaneous crayons and they're not digging all over the place for supplies and wasting time. The wonderful thing about these is this comes three to a pack at the Dollar Tree. Um, so it was easy to buy and it wasn't too, too, too expensive. And then another purchase I made, I got these scoop rockers from Big Lots. These were on sale, just a little sale, but enough to call it a sale. They're originally $6. I got them for $4.88. I don't know what the sale was. Now that I'm thinking about it, this laundry basket was not on sale. I had to pay $10 for it, but whatever. Um, this is great storage. I do not have a lot of storage in my room. Um... So this will work great and I can push it under my desk. I don't use my teacher desk, my students do, and I'll talk about that later. I might do like a classroom setup video. Um, so here's what one scoop rocker looks like. And I'll also use this for flexible seating, which I'll talk about in another uh, video. And you can see here where it was originally $6, but it rang up for $4.88, which was great. So I went ahead and got six of them. Um, they fit pretty well in um, this basket. Well, kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to work on that. I might have to lay them down instead of stand them up. We'll see. But that's where they're going to go. So even if it sticks out a little bit, oh, well, that's where it's going to go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you. These Sterilite clip boxes. So last year... I had a hard time keeping all my math supplies organized. Math requires a lot of hands-on things, a lot of manipulatives, a lot of hands-on things. So I want these Sterilite boxes so that each unit, I can store all of the games for that unit in this box. So that way when I'm teaching place value, I can grab the place value box and have everything that I need out for the entire unit without having to dig through file cabinets, dig through the Google Drive, find things that I've already created. So. One of my projects that I'm working on this summer, which is why I needed the color paper, was to go ahead and print and create all of my activities and centers that are already uploaded on the Google Drive that we used last year and put them in these Sterilite clip boxes. This was not particularly on sale. 
However, I bought this from Target when we were getting 20% off. Teachers were getting 20% off. I only bought one of them, however, because I don't want the green. I want the blue. And that is it for now. I know it wasn't the most exciting video, but like I said, this is like my first one. So I'll get better um, as I keep going. Um, it'll also get more exciting the closer it gets to school because I'm probably going to start working on some of these projects this week. I have done nothing for my class besides buy materials. I have not completed any of the projects that I said I was going to do this summer. So that's probably what I'm going to do this week. Um, so, these videos will definitely um, get better as the week goes on and it gets closer to school. I'm also debating doing a classroom setup video. If you would like to see a classroom setup video, go ahead and comment that down below. If you would like me to go in detail about how I'm going to implement flexible seating this year, you can go ahead and comment that too and I'll try to make a video and I'll try to be more exciting. I'm sorry, this is my first one though. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope you have a great day.